Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Zainab Javon Fekshahri, and I'm a third year PhD candidate in human biology. Today, I'm excited to share my experience and key learnings from the 2024 Spark Translational Research Bootcamp. This program has been instrumental in helping me understand how to transform academic research into impactful innovations, and that's why today I'm going to tell you more about it and invite you to join future programs. SPARK Taiwan is a prestigious program designed to empower us with the knowledge and skills necessary to transform our academic research into impactful innovations. The bootcamp hosted by Spark Taiwan and supported by experts from Spark Stanford focused on providing us with practical tools and insight to commercialize our research effectively. So first, I'd like to introduce you this year's instructor team. First, Dr. Eric Kafor, she was the Spark Stanford program manager, then Dr. Mendel, he was associate director of Spark Stanford. Uh, Dr. Kefetz, she was the advisor of Spark Stanford. Dr. Frumkin, uh, also he was advisor. And Dr. Uh, Seng, she was the Spark Taiwan director. The program consisted of several key components. We had in-depth workshops led by renowned experts mentorship sessions, numerous networking opportunities with fellow scholars and entrepreneurs and investors as well, and access to valuable resources that would help us bring our ideas to life. One of the key learnings was the process of target identification and validation. We explored various methods, including basic research, literature review, and the use of AI strategies, techniques like functional genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, and metabolomics were highlighted for identifying genes or proteins altered in disease. Target validation emphasized confirming casual relationships using multiple model systems and diverse cohorts to ensure the target is genuinely linked to the disease. Translational pharmacology was another crucial area we delved into. We discussed the use of in vitro and in vivo models in early drug development and the importance of obtaining relevant information and interpreting data accurately. We also addressed the challenges of reproducibility in academic research and strategies to bridge the gap between academia and industry, ensuring that our findings are reliable and applicable in real-world scenarios. It is essential to understand the commercialization process and regulatory pathway. So we compared the traditional drug development process with the SPARC model, identifying the key factors for successful licensing and technology transfer. Additionally, we learned about regulatory pathways, including defining products or classifying them appropriately and developing compliance strategies to ensure successful market entry. Another significant area was design thinking and project management. We learned the ideation cycle, which involved brainstorming in a semi-structured team-based approach to generate ideas rapidly. Protecting intellectual property from the start is crucial. And an exciting part of the bootcamp was the practical application of our learnings through team projects. We were divided into teams to brainstorm and develop a project at the end of the first day. Effective project management involving a multidisciplinary approach was highlighted as essential to enhance success rates and manage the complex process of drug development. We also focused on preparing for a page and understanding funding strategies. This involved learning the financial and logistical aspects that define funding strategies and the critical elements of a successful fundraising page. 
We explored various types of financing, including non-dilutive options like grants and foundations and dilutive options like angel investors and venture capitalists. Choosing the right investors and aligning with long-term goals was emphasized as vital for maintaining our mission and vision. After learning about pitching, we did a pitch on third day for the group project that we prepared at the end of the first day. The feedback we received provided constructive critics that highlighted our strengths and areas for improvement, helping us refine our projects further. Networking and mentorship were integral part of the program. We had opportunities to connect with scholars, entrepreneurs, and investors, broadening our professional networks. And experienced mentors provided us with guidance and support, emphasizing the importance of building a collaborative network to succeed in translating research into real-world applications. On a personal level, this bootcamp enhanced my understanding of translational research and equipped me with some practical skills in project management and pitch preparation. Moving forward, I plan to apply uh, the principles I learned to my ongoing research aiming to bring innovative solutions to market and ultimately improve patient outcomes. Thank you for your attention. For any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at zjavonf96 at signgmail.com.